are gonna get started with an exposed zipper. I kind of love this one the most of all the zippers because if you're gonna do all that work to put it in, you might as well make it a design feature and be able to see all of your work. I've done a little bit of prep here, created a facing that matches my zipper length. It's gonna nest right down in the little window we create here. And I have sewn it to my right side fabric with right sides together along these lines. Now, if you're working from a pattern, most of the time the lines are gonna be marked, so you just transfer those to your fabric or your interfacing. And I think this fabric is pretty sturdy, but it's probably a good idea to use interfacing for this part just to get everything to lie nice and neat. I've stitched around the outer edge already, and I'm just gonna cut this open here. Again, we're creating a little window for this zipper this happy little zipper to live in. <laughs> so I get to the end here and I'm just gonna cut a little Y right up to my stitching line and hopefully not through it. Yes, two not through. The interfacing really helps for this step to keep your cut stable so that when you flip it, the fabric doesn't get warped. Got it. Next, we are going to turn this to the fabric wrong side and give it a nice press. Next, we're gonna put the zipper underneath the window and kind of nest it in there. You want your lower zipper stop kind of just in line with the bottom of the window opening. You could baste this in place, and I'm just gonna pin it. This is also a good place if you like to use any kind of adhesive to hold things mm -hmm. together instead of yes. pins. You can use regular scotch tape or you can use double-sided fusible wash away tape. If this is your first time, that might be a good option for you to make sure it doesn't shift at all while you're sewing. I'm just gonna live dangerously today. <laughs> Pins work great for our expert here. Yeah. So I just have my regular zipper foot on the machine. You definitely wanna start stitching your zipper at the bottom and work up so that if you get any bubbles or puckers, those are kind of pushed out the top of the fabric rather than kind of down towards the bottom of the zipper where they're gonna be a little bit harder to hide. Definitely. All right, let's see how I did. It looks gorgeous. I'm gonna give it a couple snips, and obviously I'm using red thread here, so the stitches are really visible. This would be so cute in the back of a blouse, or you could even do it in a front blouse placket. So many uses for this installation. And it adds just the perfect amount of decorative touch to your garment, too. Absolutely. I really love that.